<laughs> right, uh, it's slightly heavy stuff, so we're still in uh, chapter six of um, Judges, <clears throat> and we're now up to uh, verse 27. Uh, here we go. <coughs> I'm ready. So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord told him. But because he was afraid of his family and the townspeople, he did it at night rather than in the daytime. In the morning, when the men of the town got up, there was Baal's altar, demolished with the Asherah pole, the side it cut down, and the second bull sacrificed on the newly built altar. They asked each other, who did this? When they carefully investigated, they were told Gideon, son of Joash, did it. The men of the town demanded of Joash, bring out your son, he must die, because he has broken down Baal's altar and cut down the Asherah pole beside it. But Joash replied to the hostile crowd around him, are you going to try to plead Baal's cause? Are you trying to save him? Whoever fights for him shall be put to death by morning. If Baal really is a god, then he can defend himself when someone breaks down his altar. So that day they called Gideon Jerob Baal. Now I've been looking that up and this predates um, uh, sort of Baal goes back a long way, but Jeroboam means I strive against Baal or something. Yes. We looked it up. Yeah. So Jeroboam means I'm going to fight. Yes. That this man Gideon is going to fight. Yeah. Strive against Baal. So Jeroboam right. saying, "Let Baal contend with him because he broke down Baal's altar." Thirty-three. Now all the Midianites, Amalekites, and other eastern peoples joined forces and crossed over the Jordan and camped in the valley of Jezreel. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, summoning the Beelzebites to follow him. He sent messengers throughout Manasseh, calling them to arms, and also into Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali, so that they too went up to meet them. Gideon said to God, if you will save Israel by my hand, as you have promised. Look, I will place a wool fleece on the threshing floor. If there is dew only on the fleece and all the ground is dry, then I will know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you said. And that is what happened. Gideon rose early the next day he squeezed the fleece and wrung out the dew, a bowl full of water. Then Gideon said to God, do not be angry with me. Let me make just one more request. Allow me one more test with the fleece, but this time make the fleece dry and let the ground be covered with dew. That night, God did so. Only the fleece was dry. All the ground was covered with you. Could you be honest? Yeah. Yeah. Stop. 